Our first question today is going to be from Dylan Bowker of My MMA News. Dylan Bowker, please go ahead. Yeah, I appreciate you making some time here. I'm just kind of curious because, you know, you're stepping into a high stakes fight here with Shinya Aoki. Like how key of a moment is this in your career, just this tiebreaker fight with Aoki? Well, of course, I didn't uh, expect that uh, uh, we will be facing uh, each other again uh, in this uh, time because, you know, uh, I've been in my loose streak and uh, he had been in, uh, winning all his fights. So uh, when his opponent and my opponent uh, um, were injured, then probably it's uh, a divine appointment for us to meet each other. Yeah, and you've been with one since their very first event there. And just with this being a big event on TNT, getting a lot of broad exposure to the North American audience. Can you talk, kind of talk about the journey of one championship and just your growth by proxy kind of with that? Because it's pretty, pretty amazing to see. Uh, yeah, well, uh, it's been fun to be in one championship uh, ever since its inauguration. I didn't expect that uh, it will grow this uh, big and, uh, you know, for now, it uh, is already going into the West and uh, a lot of uh, uh, my countrymen there are, uh, uh, of course, very happy to watch us live. Um, and uh, I think I, I, I also grow as an athlete here, as a uh, martial artist. I learned a lot of lessons. Uh, I had a lot of uh, uh, wins and uh, losses but uh, the most important thing there is that uh, I was able to you know capture the belt for uh, two times and uh, of course I'm aiming for the third time again and uh, of course it's uh, a pretty tough journey but uh, it's worth it. Our next question will go to Leon Jennings of Asian Persuasion MMA. It's been a bit of a roller coaster month for you how tough has it been and how tough has it been to change components from Sexyama to Shinyuaki on short notice? Uh, of course, it's uh, 360 degrees, uh, you know, a turn. Uh, uh, Shinya and uh, Akiyama have their different uh, style of fighting. And uh, when they uh, told me that I'll be facing Shinya, it's really a lot of adjustment to do. Uh, Shinya is known for his aggressiveness in the ground and uh, his uh, finishing uh, a lot of his opponents. So uh, I need to really uh, shift my focus, shift my my uh, the way I will handle his uh, style. Obviously, the key to beating him is keeping the fight on the feet. Do you have a plan for that to keep the fight standing where you have the, the big advantage? Of course, as much as possible, I want uh, the fight to be on my on my on my strong side but you know everything happens uh, it's uh, mixed martial arts and uh, as much as possible i need to be prepared in uh, all the areas of the sport um there's another big lightweight belt on the card peter boost for slow and tinanus how do you see that one going down uh it's a good fight you know uh Loen is uh more on uh ground fighter he's a good wrestler and uh, peter is uh, good on his feet so it's a matter of uh, the one who can implement his game plan well and the, who is re really ready will uh, win the fight. Well, lastly, um, what are your thoughts on Christian Lee and his recent performance uh, knocking out Timothy Nesta Oh uh, Yeah, uh, you go congratulations to Christian Lee. Uh, uh, he really grows as an athlete. Uh, he... He showed an amazing performance on his last fight against Timofi. And uh, yeah, it's uh, a really great uh, win for him. Thank you, Leon. Our next question goes to Jude Briosis of Overtime Heroics MMA. With the familiarity between you and Shinya, do you think that in this third time that you guys meet, you will be the one who can adjust the most and get the victory? Of course, in a positive sense, yun ang gusto natin. Uh, hindi naman natin alam ang mangyayari pero as much as possible yun yung uh, nabibisualize natin gawin. Uh, of course, magaling si Shinya sa ground. Magaling din ako sa striking. So kung paano namin laruin yung uh, game namin, I think uh, kung sino ang makapag-initiate ng maayos, siya ang mananalo dito. This next question will go to Nick Akin of South China Morning Post. I just wanted to ask, has it been tough to prepare for this fight and train 
obviously there's a difficult situation in the Philippines right now with with COVID-19. Has that affected it? Of course, uh, Nick, uh, there's a lot of adjustment, you know, uh, the former things that uh, we are doing before, the outdoor trainings, we really adjusted a lot. Uh, it's uh, pretty tough, but, you know, uh, I think uh, the good thing there is that we are at beat. We know how to find ways to train, and uh, we I, I believe we can here already. Do you have a message for all of the fans back home as well who might be going through a tough time now? Do you, do you have anything you want to say to them? Uh, I just want to say, you know, to be uh, stay strong, you know. Uh, I, I believe that uh, this uh, is going to remain forever. Uh, it will pass, and as long as we... Or keep our faith we can be able to overcome this and and just lastly from me are you, are you feeling any extra pressure going into this fight i mean given the way the last fight with Shinya went and also you know I, th- I think it's you've lost four of the last five fights is there any pressure for you going into this one well uh there will always be a pressure but you know uh this is our work you know this uh as an athlete we are warriors and uh, we need to be ready to face whoever on our way, uh, as long as uh, uh, the destination that we want to go is there. Edward, we have this next question from Louis Morales of philstar.com, and the question is this. Edward, this trilogy fight with Shinya was a last minute decision. How did that affect your preparation? Are you confident in how you were able to adjust to the new opponent? Uh, Well, uh, it affected my preparations because I'm preparing for uh, a different uh, style of uh, fighter, you know, Sakyama. and then uh, I need to really uh, change the the strategy that uh, I need to implement against uh, uh, a trilogy bout between uh, Shinya. You know, uh, it's it's a lot of adjustment, but uh, uh, you know, uh, the good thing there is that uh, uh, I want to I want to do something despite of uh, uh, changes, you know, I want to uh, give the best performance that uh, I can. That's why, you know, when they ask me to uh, go and fight against him, then uh, no doubt, you know, I, I, I want that fight because uh, probably it's a good uh, day for us to meet each other again. This is a follow-up question from philstar.com. You and Shinya have faced each other twice, so you're very familiar with each other's fighting style. How do you plan to still surprise them in this next fight? Uh, of course, if uh, uh, there's uh, a plan there is just to make uh, the fight on the feet, you know, uh, and to uh, execute my uh, game plan well, of course, and uh, um, that's the way how I see it. Next question will go to Gavin Austin of Behind the Grind. To this fight as a sizable underdog, does this motivate you to prove people wrong and show that you shouldn't be doubted? Uh, of course, you know, um, I really like being an underdog because uh, uh, lesser expectations for you to win uh, and uh, it uh, gives a lot of motivation for me to do my best and uh, to give uh, whatever I have prepared for. Our next question goes to Nisi Ikasiano of IB Times. Uh, Manong Ed, uh, tanong ko lang sa iyo. Uh, different circumstance. Uh, the third, the first one, uh, it happened in Singapore. It's for the title. You were the challenger. The second fight, uh, it's it happened in Tokyo. Obviously, it's in Shinya Yoki's home turf. Uh, plus, you're defending the title. Can you say that you're more more motivated and less pressure heading to this fight, especially that? It's a very difficult circumstance heading to the third fight. Uh, yes, of course, I'm really motivated coming in this fight. Uh, um, the, the good thing there is, uh, you know, uh, I tested negative in all the PCR tests. Of course, that's the most important thing. And uh, uh, we prepared well, uh, even though there's a lot of adjustment. But uh, I think uh, it's... Uh, uh, the right time for us to meet each other again in uh, this trilogy fight. Uh, just the last question. Uh, according to sources that you even, uh, you closely trained with Stephen Loman, and we all know that Stephen 
tested positive for COVID-19. Do you believe that this fight was really intended to happen? You know, that, you know, you have really have, you really had that close interaction with Stephen and now that it's happening after all the problems that occurred uh, in, during this month. Yeah, I think uh, this uh, fight was really intended to go because, you know, a lot, uh, some of my <laughs> opponents have tested positive, but uh, I'm probably I'm lucky or I'm blessed that uh, I didn't uh, uh, tested positive and uh, all the results have been uh, negative. So uh, I'm just looking for a positive result for this fight. <laughs> Our next question will go to Chris Mancuso of Tarps off sports. Okay, so, you know, we've had the pandemic. You're coming into this fight against an opponent. Yeah, at short notice, you know a lot about him. Um, during the time off, what do you think you perfected most to get you back on the right path to victory? What's the one thing you worked on in your game? Of course, my uh, defense, you know, uh, and uh, I think uh, embracing the other aspect of the sport, uh, the wrestling part, you know, uh, is really an interesting uh, way to appreciate uh, different uh, aspect of this sport, you know, you we learn a lot, and uh, of course, uh, it will help you to be a better fighter. Our next question will go to Kate Reyes of Spin Philippines. Kate Reyes. Uh, so, mga nga musta lang po ako. How was the situation with Team Lakai who tested positive, and how are they coping? Well, uh, my teammates are uh, already uh, recovered. Uh, okay, okay, naman na sila. And uh, yun, uh, back to training ulit. Okay. Kamusta naman po sa stable? Ano na pong, uh, normal na po yung trainings? Ganun. Mm, oo naman, pero syempre, kailangan talagang maging maingat din as much as possible talaga. Kung sino lang yung mga may competition or kung sino lang yung mga pro artists, sila lang nagtitraining muna. Okay po. Um, second question, uh, Manong, uh, what's your biggest motivation going into this fight? Uh, my uh, greatest motivation, uh, of course, may faith in God na okay. siya yung magbigay ng strength sa atin para, at uh, protection para uh, hindi tayo na nag-positive sa anumang test mm-hmm. at uh, nakarating tayo ng safe dito sa Singapore. This next question goes to Santino Honasan of Daily Tribune. Uh, ano na, ano lang, um, considering po everything, considering how your last few fights have gone, kilo consider mo ba tong fight against si Shinya Ayoki as a must win for you? Of course, uh, lahat naman ng laban natin, uh, ma- uh, yun yung motivation natin dapat manalo. And of course, lalong-lalo na dahil ito yung trilogy namin, as much as possible, uh, yun yung pinaka-motivation natin dito, yung pumunta dito para manalo. Nabanggit mo na... Ma- trilogy fight niyo na to. Um, do you expect to see anything different from si Shinya Ayoki this time around? You've seen twice before, uh, different results. This time around, do you see anything different coming from him? Uh, I think uh, kung ano ang mananaig yung kalakasan niya pa rin, uh, as much as possible, doon niya pa rin ipupunta yung laban. And uh, uh, yun pa rin yung ini-expect ko na gagawin niya. Uh, yung sige, yung result ng fight na to pa will para sa will you think will determine kung ano yung next step mo sa career mo. Oo naman. Uh, uh, syempre kung ano man yung magiging resulta nito then uh, yun yung isa sa mga magiging basehan ko kung ano yung mga susunod na step ko sa career ko dito sa mixed martial arts. No, okay. last na for me man ang ed- uh, kahapon sinabi ni Shinya na isa ka sa mga best na fighters na nakalaban niya which I think is very high praise considering yung level of talent na nakalaban niya throughout his career. He's faced guys like Eddie Alvarez, Gilbert Melendez, uh, Hayato Sakurai. Ano lang, how, how coming from someone who's that experienced, that uh, legendary kumbaga, saying na isa ka sa pinakamagaling na nakalaban niya. Gano'n lang kalaking... Um, Compliment syempre, or honor yun uh, para marinig yung ganong words. Siyempre, it's an honor na marinig mo yun coming from your rival. Uh, of course, uh, si Shinya, hindi rin naman basta-basta na opponent yan. Si, uh, siya yung uh, naging dahilan kung bakit pumutok din yung pangalan natin. So, uh, I have high regards and uh, of course, respect kay Shinya. 
Our next question goes to Denison Dalupang of Phil Daily Inquirer. Um, Manuel, the last time that you and Shinya faced was in Tokyo, as we all know. Um, Santino, um, Nisa, and I were there. And I remember looking at you with much frustration at how swift that happened for you. Um, and you were so um, frustrated. You wanted another crack at Shinya, but it took you two years and it took some kind of twist for that to happen. And the last time that we talked in this media event, um, you mentioned that um, you are working towards building your legacy. You're out for um, not winning all the, the, the glitter and glamour of it all, but you're working towards building a legacy for younger Filipino fighters to remember. Um, would you say that this is the perfect opportunity to do such thing, especially that it's Shinya you're facing, someone who took the belt from you and someone who um, you beat to win the title back in Singapore way, way back, which nandun din po kami. Of course, you know, uh, this is uh, one of the most important uh, uh, fights of my career. Uh, um, this is one of the legends of the sport. And uh, of course, I'm not expecting that uh, we will meet in this kind of situation, but uh, things happen. And uh, as an athlete, as a warrior, you know, uh, I'm much more interested in this fight against him because uh, uh, whatever happens, I know uh, as much as possible that I'll give all my best. I know um, uh, that's the... That's the motivation that uh, I want to show to uh, the Filipino people that, you know, you have the power over circumstances, whether it's in these pandemic times, you don't wait to be in the perfect condition to uh, mm -hmm. face uh, tough opponents. Mm -hmm. um, another question, Mano, Ed. Um, there's a lot of, um, let's say, added perks for you going to this fight. You're fighting again in Singapore where you won the lightweight belt way, way back. Um, you're fighting a familiar foe um, who you beat the first time. Um, and then you're celebrating your, your, your decade, right? Your, your first decade with one, you, 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 you um, going up there in the ranks of the most recogni recognizable faces of the, of the um, promotion. Um, how do you feel going into this um, fight um, with all those quote-unquote perks <laughs> going into the fight? <laughs> of course, I am happy, you know. Uh, it's uh, already been a decade since I joined one. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I have a lot of memories with one. And uh, of course, it started here in Singapore. And uh, I'm here again after a decade uh, competing in the highest level. And uh, of course, I'm I'm so happy. I'm so happy with uh, uh, how one championship uh, established this uh, uh, sport and how they are uh, making it grow. So of course, I'm I'm so happy to be part of it. Last question, Mano Ed. I'm just curious. What um, I'm been noticing your social media posts. Can you? Talk to me about the backstory with regards to the Lions of Team Lakai. You mentioned having Lions behind your back. Um, you know, having the supporting cast of Lions. Uh, of course, you know, um, my teammates, uh, the upcoming fighters, I see Lion in them. Of course, it's not yet unleashed, but uh, they are there. They are willing to learn and uh, they are only waiting for the perfect opportunity to unleash that. And uh, I'm happy they are there uh, supporting each other to, uh, to get the, you know, to get the uh, victory that uh, each one desires. This one's from Mike Murillo of Business World. And the question is this, just to piggyback on the earlier questions, given this fight will be your third against Shinya, did it in any ways ease the pivot in training, knowing that you were fighting a familiar foe? I think uh, for me, it's uh, a lot of adjustment in my training. Um, I, as I have uh, told the others earlier, uh, I have a different opponent before, but now uh, I go to a familiar foe. So uh, I really need to adjust my style. 
and uh, yeah, uh, there's some big adjustment, but uh, uh, we need to, you know, we need to prepare as much as possible. We need to utilize whatever we have so that we can be able to be ready in this fight. This next question goes to Ivan Stewart of Dugout Philippines. My first question is, yeah, my first question is, so my first question is, yes, we all know what, what happened prior to this fight. Shinya's original opponent backed out. You have your fight almost got called as well due to Akiyama, Akiyama in, being injured and your teammates somehow also getting caught by, the, by, by COVID. So do you, are you feel, do you feel relieved that you still get to fight at one on TNT4 after all? Yeah, you know, uh, I think uh, this fight was really meant, you know, because uh, a lot of things happened, you know, uh, my opponent and uh, Shinya's opponent uh, uh, were injured and uh, we are the one uh, left to face each other. Uh, my teammates had uh, tested positive, but I tested negative. So uh, it's really uh, probably a divine appointment for us to meet in Trilogy. Because without a title on the line, what's now, what's now at stake in this fight for you? Aside from a possible return to the world title picture, what's at stake with this in this non-title fight? Oh, of course, I think uh, um, you? yung legacy na uh, yung legacy namin, you know, as uh, athlete with the Shinya, we are one one, so uh, we we are here to. Uh, to prove something with uh, him and uh, uh, yung result siguro sa Thursday na. All right. So your first two meetings ended up in stoppages. You knocking out Shinya in round one, him submitting you in round two. Do you think this will also end up in a, a stoppage or, or we will finally see this fight going to the cards? Uh, I don't know, you know. I don't know. But uh, of course... Uh, Kung ano man yung nakikita natin, what, whatever, uh, of course, whatever we want to see is uh, uh, the hands of us uh, being raised. I'm going to ask you some rapid fire questions. So whatever comes to your mind, just go ahead and answer, okay? If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Uh, superpower. Uh, pow- of course, powerful. <laughs> What's the favorite country you've been to? Uh, Switzerland. What's your favorite food? Adobo. <laughs> Who has the best fight style in one championship? Uh, for me, uh, Kevin. Kevin Billingham. <laughs> what is the one item you cannot live without? Uh, cell phone. Who's the nicest one championship athlete you've ever met besides yourself? Uh, Joshua. Joshua Basho. What's the one compliment people give you the most? Uh, I think humility. And give us one of your favorite movies. Uh, the Last of the Mohicans. That's a good one. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time. All the best in the circle. Look forward to you, man.